we talked about this before we came on air. Like, does does Cliff Car Cliff Kingsbury deserve to be fired? Would Michael Bidwell fire him given how poorly the offense is? Because I think it's a listen. We're not naive to it. Right. We're going to talk about it because th this is the situation that's laid out. In front I of mean, us. when you think back of this, and you you, you think pre D Hop injury and suspension, and then hopefully post, we're, we're talking a different brand of football. Mm -hmm. But during that time. It's been putrid football, and it's been putrid football offensively. And I, I would I would assume that they're going to dip below, you know, the 21 points that they were averaging with the DeAndre Hopkins, and it go under 20, and that's just not acceptable. I mean, that's that's a level of the team that Cliff Kingsbury inherited in 2018, where this team had bottled them out. They ripped that part of the franchise encyclopedia out. They didn't even want to acknowledge it, right? Mm -hmm. So, but there, there's two conversations that you got to have. There's the conversation that should be happening, right? What you know, think. Uh, about this, the future of this team and, and how you can't let your $46 million plus dollar quarterback develop bad habits to where he's playing himself out of the league and, and you, you've got, you're stuck underneath that contract, right? Yep. But then you got to think about how this organization operates. They're not firing Cliff Kingsbury after this performance. They're just no. not going to do it. I mean, Correct. you, you no. would think that, you know, he, his, his resume recently tell the fans why they're not going to do that. Why Michael Bidwell, given his history, will not do well, that. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not, first off, offensively, who do you have in that building that's going to put you in a position yep. to succeed? I mean, you're going to have Cam Turner, who's been in lockstep with Cliff Kingsbury since he came here, right? And you have Kyler Murray. Outside of that, you know, you've got Jeff Rogers, your special teams coach. Sean. You, you, your running backs coach isn't – he's gone. Sean Remember the Kugler? incident? No, the, the, you have Sean Kugler, sure. But, right. you know, what is Sean Kugler outside of the run game in, in scheming that up? What's he going to provide to you offensively? I, I just don't think that – Michael Bidwell is going to be knee-jerk reactionary, and he's not going to throw away three years of, of actual data for a sample size. And as, as frustrating as everybody as frustrated as everybody is, at two and four, and, and performing as poorly as they did against mm -hmm. one of the worst defenses in the league, I, I I I completely agree with people's frustration. But this team is not going to make a change. They're not, and I agree with that. And as I listen, and what does it get you at this point anyway? I I think Vance Joseph deserves to have a look. Maybe if you get to mid to late in the season and give him a couple weeks to put some game plans together. Because here's the thing. His young players are, are responding and they're resonating with his messaging, which is, I think, the biggest thing you can ask for as a, as a coach in a player relationship. And like Kyler Murray's a broken player right now. I don't think that can be disputed. He looks nothing like himself. And when that happens and you've made a commitment to said player, uh, Bo, you made a comment to me off air. It's like Kyler Murray's contract for one year is less than Cliff Kingsbury's yeah. extension. I mean, we don't know the full numbers, right? Mm -hmm. When you've seen yep. that rule, is what his buyout was, 40 plus million, and you got to assume that Cliff would be able to find himself a job after this, maybe collegiately or maybe as an offensive coordinator, which would maybe ease that buyout. But you're paying Kyler Murray, on average, $46 million per season. You should One season of Kyler is worth buying out a coach. You've already bought out Steve Wilkes before after one year. Like If, if we reach that if we reach where this team just can't compete offensively as it hasn't so far through six games of the season, if this continues, then I don't think you have any any wiggle room here. I mean, you you can't continue to do that. It's the definition of insanity. Uh, but right now, I mean, w what's the solution? I mean, how, how did the Cardinals dig themselves out of this? As we start to we, – we've identified where there's some major problems with the play calling, with the execution. What are the solutions for this team? Realistic solutions because I don't think – Michael Bidwell is going to be having instituting a new play caller on Monday for Thursday Night Football. It ain't happening. Well, well, and we want to have a chance to get Kyler Murray's stats up and where they want to be. And you can bet on his stats right now using the Underdog Fantasy app. It's one of our favorite apps. We use it on the reg. We used it today. I thought Kyler Murray was going to go off. So my bet, eh, it's not worth looking at, but you can try it for yourself. You can search in the App Store. Click on the link in the show notes. Sign up with promo code PHNX. Underdog is going to double your first deposit up to $100. That's Underdog Fantasy promo code PHNX and get in on the action today. Yeah, we were uh, the, that Underdog Fantasy. We we're having some funs with that, uh, but we also have a great time at Four Peaks each and every week. It seems like we've got another event there. We've got some great stuff in the works. We just had our Sun Devil hockey event on Friday. Just an absolute electric atmosphere that. Uh, parlayed into a dub at the new Mullet Arena. We want to do some other events like that. Keep it uh, locked here to PHNX Sports. Subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. 
of course, uh, check out Four Peaks. Stay tuned for more information. Got to be 21 years or older. Enjoy it responsibly. Guys, well, you, I got I got to throw this out because I, I I understand where the frustration and pain is coming from. Like as a fan, like I get it. Like it was reminiscent of that first round playoff loss against the Rams. Like that's what today felt like. However, as a former player, I look at look at it. And Frank, you know as well as I do, anytime that you got two backups in there on the offensive line, like there's context to everything. They couldn't run their same plays. I mean, they're running a the draw, and you know Benjamin is getting tripped up by Sean Harlow in the backfield. So I think, and we saw every time that they tried to pass, that there was multiple pressure on Kyler. And I think that everyone wants to jump the boat due to the fact of the lack of success over, over these past six games. And absolutely, I get it. But to Bo's point, the Cardinals aren't going to make any de any brass decisions. Why? Because they're financially invested. Two, who's going to run this offense? And three, what would you, what what does it look like moving forward?